Welcome everyone, I'm Ange, and today I have a quick and effective mat workflow for you using the mini ball. If you don't have a mini ball, you can take a little pillow and fold it up or roll up a big towel and that'll work just fine for what we're gonna do today. So I want you to go ahead and grab what you need, roll out your mat, and when you're ready, we're gonna get into this workout. All right, everyone, let's get into this. Take your mini ball and place it between your ankles, tuck your toes, and meet me in a four-point kneeling position. Let's check that our wrists are underneath our shoulders, our knees are under our hips, Breathe in here, lengthen the spine. Exhale, push into the mat with the hands and the feet and hover the knees off. Inhale, we're gonna lower those knees for a second and then exhale right back into our hover. Keep going like this. We have six more, feeling the core nice and tight. Gentle squeeze on the ball, five. And four, you're doing amazing. Try not to change your spine. And two. Now this last one we hold. Let's lift up through the tail and come to our elephant position or a downward facing dog. Breathe, stretching through the shoulders and the hamstrings. Come back down to your hover and hold. Get those knees pretty low and then back up again. We're warming up, getting the heart rate up here. So good. And if you need, when you come up to your pike here, if you need to keep the knees bent, that's okay. Do what feels right for you. Give your body what it's asking for. Push a little past your comfort zone each time and you'll get stronger and more flexible each time you come and meet me on the mat. All right, one more time here. Lift up and hold, breathe. And good, come on down. Lovely, let's take the ball out and swing those legs around in front. You're up on your sitting bones and the ball is gonna go between your inner thighs. So we're going into our half rollback here. Let's reach our arms out in front of us, flex over the ball, scooping through the belly, gaze is just at the ball, arms are up at shoulder height. Now just take that whole shape back. So you have this long C curve through your spine and then just taking it back over the ball. Exhale to roll back. So your glutes help to initiate that pelvic tilt, your obliques and all your ab muscles really <laughs> are working. Your hip flexors are working here as well. You might feel that. But I really want you to focus on that deep core. Squeeze the ball gently and come back up. Two more. You feel that work? I know you're nodding yes. <laughs> Try to, to keep the feet down if you can. If the toes need to lift, that's okay. Roll back here and hold. Good. Now from here, one elbow bends and then reaches out behind you. We're twisting. And back to center. Bend the other elbow, reach and twist. Come back to center, keep going a little faster. Exhale to twist, inhale center and center. Keep going as I give you a few pointers here. So you want to think about those legs, keeping them really still and the ball is going to help with that. So we're not moving our legs or our pelvis. We're twisting from the waist. Woo! Last time each way. Feel that nice oblique burn. And come on up. Our arms are working there too. You might have felt that. It's one of the things I love about Pilates is everything is working all the time. <laughs> you just have to think about what you're doing. Be mindful. Let's put the ball underneath the tips of our shoulder blades. Okay, so from here, hands are just going to come behind the head and we're going to take an extension back and then rise on up. Good. You want to just have your hands helping to support the weight of your head when you lift. Start to lift by nodding the chin a little bit first before you come up, just so that you're not straining through there. But you're thinking about your ribs sliding down towards your hips at the top of the move, taking a little pressure off the ball. So it's kind of like a little ab prep at the top here, or it is a little ab prep modified. Last one like this. All right, so from here, we're gonna reach the arms, come up an inch and down an inch. So just notice here, I'm not overly tucking my tail. I've got my tail nice and heavy, neutral pelvis or fairly neutral. Don't worry too much about that kind of stuff, but bring some awareness to it every once in a while. Nice, up an inch and down an inch. We're feeling our abs, <laughs> I hope. And two more. And one more, relax, 
Reach back over that ball. Feel the ribs heavy, the backs of the ribs into the ball. Breathe. Come on up, and then you're just gonna move backwards a little bit on the ball, or you can come up and just move it a little further down your spine. So it's near, it's closer to your lower back now. Okay, still tail, tail, still heavy. And then we're gonna go into some twisting. So back to the obliques, hands framing the sides of the head. We twist, let that ball move behind you and get as deep as you can without moving the legs. Back through center, and twist the other way. Center, nice, keep going and twist. We have a couple more here. Lovely job, this is our last one here. Now let's reach our legs long and think of lifting up again, ribs sliding down to the hips and your gaze is just forward. Your chin is off your chest a little bit. Back of your neck is long, arms by your sides. Let's go into our 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Stay lifted, try not to sink back onto the ball. If you need a break, take one. Let's get that heart rate up. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Let's add a leg lift as we exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep going. Couple more, this is the 100-ish. <laughs> it may or may not be exactly 100, and if it is, I'll be really impressed with myself. <laughs> All right, lift. One more round, exhale to lift, inhale to lower, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Now lift up, reach over the legs, stretch and then rise up tall. We're gonna either keep the legs out long or crisscross them like this, okay? So for me, I'm gonna keep mine out long. If you find that sitting in this position pulls you back into a tilt or it feels too tight, crisscross your legs. You could even sit up on a pillow. Let's bring those arms out, palms face down, reaching nice and wide, hands in your peripheral vision. We're twisting from the waist, go a little further, a little further, come back through center. And the other way, twist a little further. A little further and center. Let's add the breath. Exhale. And inhale, grow tall each time you come to center. Twist. Go a little further, a little further. And center one more time each way. Your arms aren't moving here. You're just reaching out. Nice. So good for your spine. Your arms are really working here too. And lower the arms down. Okay, so take the ball and we're gonna lower down, going into a little bridge series. So just find the center of your mat here. Take your ball, you're gonna hold it between the hands, legs hip distance apart, and your feet maybe just pull them a little closer to your bum. And from here, neutral rib cage is just heavy into the mat. And we're gonna press up into our bridge, squeeze the ball between our hands. Inhale, we lower down, exhale right back up. You're doing awesome. Keep going. I love a good bridge series. We're gonna really get into the back body here. Four more. And three. Two. One, okay, let's hold it at the top here. Now you can always put the arms down. I'm gonna try to hold onto my ball. Gently squeeze it to help the core engage. Lift one leg up. Lower it down, toe ball heel to the mat. Lift the other leg up. You wanna be really steady here and trying to keep the pelvis level. So push into the foot that's staying on the mat. Really feel that heel driving down, glute activation, and then lift the other leg. And then maybe the hip will stay a little more level and not drop. You really wanna use those ground forces. Push down, squeeze the ball, lift. You got it, keep going. Exhale, lift. I'm so proud of you for pushing yourself past your comfort zone here, making this time. Ooh, I know this, these moves aren't easy, but they're so good for your body and your mind. And you're doing such a good job. Half the battle was won by you just showing up and pressing play. So let's really finish strong here. Let's do one more each side. Lift. If you're getting tired, just go back to single bridges anytime. 
You can always just go back to that. All right, hold. Let's pulse it out. Lower a little and then lift and lift. Reach the arms up. Four, three, two, and one. Let's do one more set. Eight, seven, six, and five. Feel like you're pulling the heels towards your seat. And one, hold, lift the heels, lower, lift the heels, lower. Let's reach the ball back and forward. Reach and forward. Four more. And three more, you're almost there. Two more. And one more, keep the heels high, lift the ball up. Now from here, we're gonna pedal the feet out. One heel lowers, lifts, then the other heel. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, squeeze those glutes, lift those hips. Eight more, eight. Notice my ribs are not flaring. You got this nice rib to hip connection. Woo, two and one, lift the heels. Let's melt the spine down, one vertebrae at a time. Whoa, <laughs> that was intense. Okay, we're gonna turn right over onto our side and do a little bit of side leg work. And then we're getting really close. So let's just keep on going here. Smile on our face. So line yourself up with the back edge of your mat, the ball is between the ankles, and let's reach the top arm out, palm faces down. So for this first little set, if you would rather have your arm bent, if that feels better for you, go for it. Check that your hips are nice and stacked. And then from here, now that we've established this long line, which should already feel hard <laughs> to maintain, we're gonna lift the legs, make it a little harder. So we're just hovering and lower down. We're thinking of lengthening out from the toes, more so than trying to get too much height. Reach, and just watching that our top hip doesn't start to roll backwards. Okay, we wanna stay stacked. If you have someone around when you're doing this, get them to come check you, make sure you're stacked. Sometimes we think we are, but we're not, so it's nice. A mirror is a good thing to have nearby too. And last one, all right, from here, we're gonna lift that bottom leg, push up into the ball. Six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Woo, give yourself a little second. If your arm was bent, reach it out, okay? Top hand's gonna stay on the mat for now, but not too much weight in it. All right, we're gonna lengthen those legs out again. Feel that top hip, top side obliques, and then lift your torso. Awesome, lower down. So we're finding this nice side bend. Lengthening toes back, head forward and long. Notice I'm not lifting my ear to my shoulder. I'm just keeping that neck right between my shoulders. <laughs> All right, we've got four. You're doing amazing. We're gonna level this up as an option. See if you can lift the arm. Three, two, one. Hold here, reach that top arm, fingertips lengthening. Come on down. Oh my goodness, that felt good. Take the ball and just bring it out in front of you. And you're gonna pick it up, reach it behind for a little rotation and come forward. You can have this arm under your head if that feels better. Reach, lengthen, breathe. The wall is preventing me from going any further, but you could go a little further. Just don't reach the arm so low that your shoulder is compromised. You just wanna keep that arm in line with your collarbone. Awesome job, let's do the other side. Almost there, so close. Okay, let's lay down. Check out the back edge of your mat here in a nice long line. Top arm, long or bent for now. And from here, we're gonna lift both legs. Beautiful, see if you can just relax your shoulders and your neck and really put any tension. We don't want tension, but <laughs> the focus really is in the core. Four more, lengthen, lengthen. Hip is stacked, three. Two, one. All right, we're gonna lift and hold. Bottom leg pulses up, inner thigh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower down, reach that bottom arm long, palm facing down. And we're gonna add the upper body. Lengthen the legs and the upper body. Get as long as you can and lower down. Exhale to lift. Inhale, we lower. Check out where your head is. If you're looking down, <laughs> lengthen, look straight ahead. It's a good thing to check in with your head, your neck, your shoulders. Many times throughout the day, try lifting your hand. There you go. Because oftentimes you'll find <laughs> your head is taking a lot of stress, a lot of 
head, neck and shoulders taking a lot of tension. Holding a lot of tension. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Last one here. Lift. Now reach the fingertips if that feels stable and steady for you. Come on down. Yay. We did it. Let's do some extension to finish things off here. We're going to bring the ball out in front of us. We're lying on our tummy. Legs are hip distance apart. And then from here, actually bring the legs a little bit wider maybe and turn them out. Might be a little better for your back. Okay, so then push down into the surface of the ball with long straight arms. And as you do that, you're gonna feel the lats connect down the sides of your back and that's gonna help you find this nice extension as you pull the ball in and lower down. So even if you wanna lift a little bit, that's okay. Find what feels good for your body. See if you can get a little further each time. Reach the legs long, feel the glutes connected. Lift up through the hip bones and the abs are engaged. Let's do one more here. This is our swan dive modification. Feels so good. All right, keep the hands on the ball, bring the legs parallel and hip distance apart. Now from here, you're just gonna gently press down into the ball and just hovering through the spine, looking straight down or maybe just slightly forward on your mat. Okay, and then from here, lift the legs. So it's more about length through those legs. We don't wanna arch the back too much. So just lengthen and lift us to a little hover and then we're gonna just a little alternating flutter here. This is our swimming legs. Let's inhale two, three, four, five and exhale two, three, four, five. Keep going as I'm talking. I want you to notice the knees, they're straight. Feel like you're drawing the kneecap up the thighs and you're moving from the hip, okay? So you might start to feel those glutes. Inhale and exhale. Keep a gentle lift through the upper body. A little gentle push down into the ball. So your whole back body is connected and working here. Oh my gosh, am I ever feeling this last round? Awesome job, relax. Ooh, I felt that in my abs, my hamstrings, my glutes. My shoulders, hopefully you did too. Bring the ball with you as you come up to sit on your heels and find your shell stretch. Hands on the ball just in front of your knees. Now, fingertips just slightly on the ball. Let's roll that ball forward, flatten out our spine a little bit. The ball will just come underneath your forearms and then draw that ball in one more time. Send that ball away, breathe and pull it in. Now put the left fingertips on the mat, right fingertips on the ball, roll the ball over to your left and feel that nice stretch through the whole right side of your body. This should feel pretty good. Switch. Let that ball just come under your forearm. Resist the urge to fingertip the ball. Just let it go where it needs to go so that you can get a nice smooth movement here. And keep breathing, letting the heart rate come down a little bit. Nice, okay, let's take our ball and put it between the legs, sitting up tall. And again, you might wanna sit on a little pillow or crisscross the legs, okay? So spine stretch forward. This is gonna be really nice after all of that. So fingertips on the ball and let's just melt the spine forward one vertebrae at a time as we move that ball forward as well. Roll back up from tail to head, stack the spine. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale the rest of the way. Let's hold here, inhale, feel those ribs expand out and back behind you. And exhale, find your sitting bones and rebuild your spine right on top. One more time, breathe. All the way up. Nice, one last thing. We're gonna find our mermaid position. So you've got your legs in this Z sit. Bring the ball underneath the hand furthest from the feet. Lift the other arm up and let's come over into a side bend. If you're using a pillow or a towel, you just can omit the ball. I should have said that earlier, but for when you do this again, hopefully you'll do this workout again and then you'll know you can just keep your fingertips gliding on the mat. Okay, up and over. Lovely, pick up that ball and over. And rise back up, let's do the other side. Flip those legs around. And then if you don't have a ball, I'll just show you for this exercise, you're just gonna come on down to the forearm. Feels amazing. Two more, inhale, we reach, lift. Exhale, over to the side bend. We always wanna create space in our joints, in our spine, and then move into that space. 
Feels so good. Let's pick up our ball and do a little counter stretch. Breathe in here. Amazing. And you're all done. That is your class for today. I hope you're feeling strong, energized, and amazing. You did so well. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time.